Warning, this podcast contains Dahlia. Spoilers. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC Nothing Podcast for the original Season 2, Episode 16, Save My Soul, which I don't have. I'm your host, Dom, with me, my co-host, Nikki, a.k.a. Omikins. Hi. And down below is Mike. Hi. How's it going? It goes well. Places. It's going places. It's going places. many places. Mm-hmm. And things and stuff and... Yeah. Off the rails, it's going. So, uh, what did you guys think of this episode? Um. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I really didn't think about how I felt about this episode. Really? <laughs> That's a first. Usually, let me know how you feel about an episode the second you're done watching it. <laughs> um. No, I, I think it hangs in the balance. Is what I'm. I'm, I'm like, there's things where it could have been better, and there was good parts. So, I mean, oh. I mean, I'm kind of getting aggravated at Klaus at this point. Yeah, he's being a real douchebag. I mean, he's usually a douchebag, but he's being a real douchebag now. You're getting aggravated at Klaus because we've had how many months of character development, and now he's back to his old paranoid, the old paranoid Klaus we were introduced to how many years ago? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah he's had character development, but there's little things that the motivate, like the motivation for those it's they're justified so every step in a more positive direction that Klaus has taken it, it it's still it makes sense but now like everything that went on with Dahlia it just seems like he's being a dick to be a dick yeah yeah like not that he's regressed or anything it just I, I don't know if it's his like uh, wanting to keep the family the same the way it's always been, and he won't accept that she's really his sister, you know, Freya. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, the because he's finally just got his family to a point where everybody's kind of happy with each other, hmm. you know. Like Vincent's, no. Vincent's gone for the time being, you know, not Vincent, but Finn, uh, Finn, Finn. is gone for the time being. Like they just made amends with um with Cole after all this time and yeah, Cole's passed on, but they have a plan that they could possibly bring him back at some point. And it's just him, Rebecca and, and Elijah, and they're all kind of on the same page finally, until Freya comes in the mix. It wasn't even just Freya. It it was when hope was revealed. Like mm-hmm. to everybody. That's when all the changes started happening. I mean he was a little bit paranoid before. I mean, you know, Whatever, that was just him, you know, trying to fortify that wall. But now that wall is broken down and everybody knows about hope. Mm-hmm. So there's there's no more structure there for him to lean on and depend upon. He has to do all the dirty work with his own hands. And that's how, that's well, he doesn't have to, but that's how he feels. Right. Yeah. I mean, because you see, you see him, like, budding up with Aiden and being like, yeah, you got to do this. And then... So yeah. we we saw because that was last episode, but then it carried over to this this episode, and you see Aiden and Jackson out in the bayou, and they're they're going at it. Aiden's not backing down. They're supposed to be sparring, but Aiden's all for the you know beating down the alpha so he can take the spot. Yeah, but he's kind of yeah. giving he's kind of giving Jackson some pointers at the same time though. Yes, yeah. He's like, do this, or someone's gonna step up and take your spot. He's basically saying, I'm gonna do it, but. You know, I don't want to do it, but I will if I have to. Yeah. I know. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is Klaus just, he still, he wants control of all of these wolves, and he knows that he'll never truly have it unless he controls their alpha, which he doesn't. Right. So I think that's kind of pissing him off a little bit in the back of his mind all day. And even Haley kind of gets on his case a little and is like, look, you got to do some stuff, lighten the people up, have them trust you, party, beer kind of thing again, you know? Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, she can only play Peacemaker for so long. I, I know, and she even went after Klaus saying, you know, you really need to butt out. And he's like, no. And you could see it in her face. She's thinking about something. She did threaten him last episode that she was going to take hope and run and she, he'd never see her again. I'm thinking she's legitimately planning this out now. 
But that's the th- yeah, she's legitimately planning this out. But I think she's got to wait until this whole threat of Dahlia goes away because, I mean, as much as Klaus is pissing off pissing her off, Haley's also not stupid. This is true. Yeah, she's got that. You know, Dahlia is coming for my baby. If Dahlia is, you know, this horrific mega witch that everybody's, you know, making her out to be, I'll be stupid to run away with hope. And, you know, my wolves, because, I mean, right now she's got a lot more protection for hope than she would if she, ran, you know, yeah. snatched and ran. Yeah. But speaking of Dahlia, we got some cool little ni- uh, 977 AD flashbacks uh, from Dahlia. Yeah. So, uh, what'd you guys think of those? I mean... She cray-cray. Yeah, she's just nuts. I mean, it's boiling down to the whole, um, kid, you know, well, I guess kid growing up. Like, kid gets bullied and just wants to make it so that she's the bully for the rest of her life and will never get bullied ever again. I mean, that's the kind of gist of it I got from Freya's retelling. Okay, you're talking about... I'm Dahlia, about Dahlia being bullied? Like, you know, yeah, Dahlia was tormented when she was younger by those more powerful than her, so she vowed to never be weak again. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that's what... I, like, that's the whole reason she's power mad, because she was tortured as a child or some shit like that. Or, like, a more powerful witch, you know... Made her poop her pants or, you know, something <laughs> random. It was probably something random and petty. It's, that is basically her- what Tyler's suffering from. Yes. Yes, Tyler and his permanent poop face. Maybe he's <laughs> related to Dahlia somehow. <laughs> I, had to, I had to loop it in even though Tyler's not on the show anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was going to loop in that Haley should just give hope to Tyler and let Tyler babysit if the, you know, the dome was still over Mystic Falls. But that isn't a thing anymore. Would, would Hope be able to go into Mystic Falls? Uh, yeah. She has not activated her curse and she's not a vampire per se. She'd just be without her witchy powers. I'm, I still hope she's a hybrid of all three. You she know, is. She is a hybrid of all three. She has the healing power of both the war- werewolf and the vampire. She's just not undead. She hasn't break. She hasn't broke the curse, or she hasn't activated the curse, so she's right. not going to turn. But she's a witch. Mm-hmm. She's a hybrid of all three. When she starts walking, I bet you she's super fast too. Maybe. I don't I'm know. Curious. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. I don't know necessarily if she has any of the vampire parts. She definitely has the werewolf stuff because werewolves have super healing too. So not to the point where she healed. They have accelerated healing by human standards. Yeah, mm-hmm. but not like vampire healing, which is what she has. She has that super duper accelerated. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. like. I think Klaus should be. It seems like Klaus isn't spending enough time with her. He's not. Like, he's so yeah. worried about protecting her, but he's not spending any time with her. Yeah. And I don't know if that's partially because he's threatening Haley, and Haley did threaten to, like, hold that over his head. You know, no, he's I don't... just preoccupied. He doesn't really... You know what? He was tormented by Michael his whole childhood. He probably doesn't realize how to fucking parent. <laughs> he doesn't know how to parent. That's he true. does not know the, how to parent. The only thing that he knows is he was neglected as a child and his father hated him. And he doesn't want that. His father abandoned him. That's all he knows is he does not want to be that. Yeah. That doesn't mean he knows how to be a good father. No. Mm-hmm. It just means he wants to do the opposite of what Michael did for him. So. Um, yes. You know, but that's causing a lot of conflicts with his, his, uh, his brother, his sister. Because we have Elijah and... Rebecca, you know, Rebecca's dealing with all these problems, right? She's waking up and she's having, uh, like, her body is, is trying to be taken over by Eva Sinclair. Mm-hmm. And, take it back. Yeah, it's, she's trying to take it back. And then Elijah's like, we should talk to uh, Freya. Freya, yeah. And Klaus is like, absolutely not. This let, Let's hear her out. And Klaus finally agrees that and he invites her over to the, the compound. But he already had it set in his mind that he didn't want to hear her out. So why even go through with the plan to begin with? To appease Elijah and to appease Rebecca. 
appease Elijah, appease Rebecca, and maybe try to get more of a feel for this woman who's claiming to be his older sister. Yeah. Do you because, think hmm. there is any point that this may not be Freya? I've already said that it could possibly not be Freya multiple times. We've gone through it. Yeah, we've actually gone through it a couple times, especially now with the whole body jumping thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I have my own. I, I've came up with a theory actually in the five minutes before we started the show that somehow Dahlia is responsible for the shit going on with Eva and Rebecca right now. Mm. And I'll get to that, you know, when we get to that. But um, I can, I'm still with the possibility that it's not Freya. I mean, with all these flashbacks we saw, saw it's lending, you know, like that was Freya's life. But currently, who knows? Maybe. I, I guess just the whole thing with Eva does kind of make sense because Eva is taking children. She is siphoning their power. She's, and Dahlia kind of did the same thing. Right. I mean, Dahlia did it a little bit differently yeah. because Dahlia's was, as Freya put it, it was a new type of, you know, linking magic or body yeah. link magic. What if that means that Rebecca is actually Dahlia? Ooh. Like, I wouldn't, I mean, no. Eva Sinclair is actually Dahlia. I mean, that's more possible. That, than that's what I mean. That's what I mean by that. That Dahlia has pushed Eva, the old Eva, the one that got married to Vincent in the first place, out of her body. And now, because, you know, Re Rebecca's in there, Dahlia's fighting back, and she she's, can't, because she's powerful. She is targeting children. Yes. Right. She's targeting children and she's marking them and you know, channeling them, siphoning their power. Mm -hmm. So that is a very Dahlia esque thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's her whole whole mo, and it does make sense because you know, if Vince Vincent was claimed to be a very powerful witch, at mm -hmm. least by his own you know coven, yet while Finn was in him, as far as we know, Finn didn't have any issues controlling and we always attributed it that to the fact I, that i hate that word when finn was in him uh, sorry. <laughs> when he was vincent and not vincent <laughs> now it sounds like they're on the love connection oh, God. oh gosh when Whatever. it was finn in that body okay when it was finn we always attribute it to the fact that esther put finn in there and she Esther did. was far more powerful and did the spell more effectively than Cole did when he swapped Rebecca in. Mm -hmm. So that's what we always attributed to. So maybe it was the fact that this spell is a very effective take control of the body. It's just that Dahlia already took control of the body. And now there's three people in there, Eva, Dahlia, and Rebecca. And Dahlia oh is the God. far more powerful witch. Three's a crowd. Come on, guys. Rebecca's head's gonna explode. Mm -hmm. already I mean, a bit of it's gonna Rebecca turn around backwards, there. and it's gonna she's gonna crab walk down the stairs like the Exorcist. That was a you know a, an added scene, wasn't it? Or yeah, yeah. It was a yeah. deleted scene that they they were able to fix up when technology got better. But yeah, see, yeah, I just that's my thing. I don't know. I it'd be cool if that's what happened, but I don't know. I mean, it's not a reach, but at the same time, it is. Right. It's not a reach. I, 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 it, it's both. But because what do we know? Dahlia and Freya are awake for a year out of a century. They didn't say it was at the same exact time. I mean, Freya alluded to that, but we have no hard concrete evidence that it's at the same time. We also have no evidence that Dahlia actually goes to sleep. Maybe her body goes to sleep and Dahlia jumps to another body for that century yeah maybe that's how she did it well, who, who knows yep um I mean, yeah we, we mentioned we mentioned uh vincent we got to see a lot more of who he was and you know so what they had done done at the end of last episode actually worked and expelled him and you know mm -hmm. um where is vincent right now or finn Vin finn is with uh, Freya in the amulet. Finn is in the happy blue jewel. Mm -hmm. So that that's gonna it's gonna cause some trouble. It's definitely gonna cause some trouble. Yeah, because it means but Finn's not dead. What did you guys think of uh, Vincent in his his past life? He's Interesting. A nice, he's a nice guy. <laughs> he seems like he's a truly decent guy, mm -hmm. as far, especially as far as witches go. 
Um, yeah, nice guy. Kind of like, you know, very animated. Much more animated than Finn was. What do you mean by animated? His reactions and everything, like to certain things. His like facial ah! expressions. His facial and, expressions. Yeah. He's, well, that's because more emotional. Finn spent how much time as an emotionless being? Right. So yeah, Finn already has that whole that whole not caring face down. Yeah, it's just something I noticed and I thought was very nicely. Yeah, he's playing it very differently than yeah. mm-hmm. the actor is playing it very differently, differently already, than, than he's playing Finn. I always said that I like this actor. Yeah, he's I mean, great. Mm-hmm. I tolerated the character Finn, but I like the actor. Yep, and this this further proves it. And it, it was very interesting, also as you had mentioned, that uh, Vincent was married to uh, Eva Sinclair. Mm-hmm. Which that I did not see coming. Yeah, I, didn't I see should that have saw it coming. I, yeah, afterwards I said, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I and mean, when I, think I saw back, a relation, like, like maybe brother, sister, cousins, or something, but not married. Yeah, but it's it's more of like how the way you know Finn works and and Cole especially, and it's just kind of like they were not really working together, but they were at the same time. They were at, had very similar objectives, even though Cole had his own agenda. But um, it seemed like if he knew where Vincent came from, that uh, uh, Eva Sinclair would have been on his radar. So. Mm-hmm. Do you think he knew that Eva was what she was? I think so. I mean, other than a crazy witch in a crazy witch house? If... It's hard to say for sure, but I do I do think he did. I think he knew exactly what she was. Well, yeah, he said he was married to her. I mean, that... He said he was married to her, and that... No, she means Cole. Did Cole oh, know Cole, when putting yeah. Cole, Cole, Rebecca Cole. in? I think he did, but I think that was one yeah, of the choices. Number one, known. because it was somebody that wouldn't be found. Number two, he didn't expect those side effects to happen and just assume Rebecca was going to be in full control of the body. And uh, number three, if she did get out for whatever reason, it's not like anybody's really going to be missing her. Right. Uh, you know what? I, I Yeah. And I think that was the prime factor, I guess, going into this was the fact that she was hidden. Nobody was going to find her. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's in a, an asylum for witches. No witch is going to go looking for her in there because they can't get back out. I mean, or well, they it could can have been now. part of uh-huh. yeah, or it could have been part of Cole's master Damn. plan to get Freya free as well, because we knew Freya was in there. Mm-hmm. Mm, this is true. I yeah. mean, but like they did, was it threatened or no? Rebecca mentioned that she'd be thrown back in there, mm-hmm. um, from Josephine or whatever. But I mean. She can get out. I mean, uh, Freya turned around the doll head. There's no locking spell on that place anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, would you guys think of the fact that Freya is immortal? Makes sense. Saw it coming. I mean, I, it, there had to be something. Because like, doll, if she's so important and everything, and, you know, oh, you're alive for one year out of every... Century. century. I thought she was and just like Rip Van Winkle or something. Yeah, and if you're enslaved to Dahlia, I, that's actually a thought I had a while ago. What's stopping her from killing herself? Hmm. Dahlia? Well, obviously the spell. Right. It's mm-hmm. stopping her from killing herself. But that's what I thought. Like, you know, if this is a truly horrible existence she led, why didn't, like, when she woke up in the 1700s, why didn't she just jump in front of a cannonball or something? A cannonball. There's so many more efficient ways to die than jumping in front of a cannonball. Well, you would be sure that your body is in pieces and it can't be put back together Job. again. I, I I still want to know if, you know, an original vampire on top of a like Brock... Blah, 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 I can't even say it because the prospect intrigues me so much. If an original vampire like Klaus on top of a brick of C4 would kill him. I mean, Elijah was just in a house that exploded, and no, Elijah didn't die. Elijah was next well, to the blast. Elijah wasn't in pieces either. I mean, he look wasn't. at his look suit at, was, was yeah. No, ripped, but the word tattered. That's, that is a low. I will get into the you know physics of explosions here. That was a low no. explosive. Shut your face, because we don't want to talk about that shit. Okay, <laughs> fine. Strap Klaus to an atom bomb. No, and set it no. off. What you want to get at is if. If an original is in pieces, will they die? That is what you want to get at. That's what I'm getting I don't at, think yes. They're, I don't think they're capable of being put into pieces. 
it's not capable because nobody is fast enough or strong enough, I mean, to go after them. Maybe when one of those witches disabled them, hack them into pieces. Yeah, could. I don't know. How I, many witches in season one disabled? They, there's a reason that we don't see them getting decapitated or losing limbs, because they don't want us to get answers to these questions. Right, Because exactly. they probably it's, don't have them themselves. It doesn't more, go More importantly, I think the question you should be asking instead of if Klaus was... Standing on top of C4 is if Klaus swallowed C4. See, they kind of answered this question in oh, Twilight. Okay. I hate bringing it up. The only way that a Twilight vampire could be dismembered was with a werewolf bite. Because the vampires were like, you know, freaking diamond crested. They sparkled. Duh. Is that and why they sparkled? That's probably exactly why they sparkled, because you know their their skin is encrusted with diamonds because they're so fucking old. They've you know carbonized or whatever. That's terrible. And this is why. Yeah, no. This is why I didn't watch that series. Um, but yeah, werewolves were the only ones who could dismember them because their teeth can penetrate. I, I had just met. <laughs> we'll get back on topic in a second, but I had just mentioned to Mike about swallowing the C four, and the look on Mike's face all of a sudden. What just came to mind was Jim Carrey eating the bomb in the mask and going, <laughs> that is a spicy meatball. Yes, I think me too. That's exactly what Klaus would do. It would blow up, he'd burp, you'd, you'd see smoke come out his mouth, and he'd be like, That's, oh, that was spicy. Oh, God. <laughs> I just picture mm. that. A but, tad, um, in his area, a tad spicy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I, when... Nikki brought up to me earlier today when we were discussing, like, if she's immortal and all this stuff, how was she able to have her neck snapped? Yeah, she said she's impervious, or impervious to harm or anything like that. So, I mean, like, even if her neck was snapped, she'd just be, like, sitting there with her eye, you know, she'd be conscious and she'd just be looking the wrong way. Yes, I mean, he... that's how that's how I think of being impervious to harm impervious yeah that's what i agree impervious to harm and unable to be killed are two different things or like you know wake up after traumatic injury healed within an hour or something yeah, yeah she legitimately died like a vampire like you know anybody wearing the gilbert ring she died and she came back right yeah impervious means like you just said snaps her neck and she just looks in the other snaps way. it right back yeah that's impervious to harm or the fact that it shouldn't snap to begin with. But yeah. yeah. Or that. Why isn't her spine made out of diamonds? <laughs> She's not from Twilight. Yeah. But she, she reveals that, that she could help Rebecca with her problem. Did, did yeah. you guys think that she could? I don't know. I was kind of on Klaus's page with this. Like, I don't want to trust her because she's like I'll just put you in a deep sleep it'll be okay after that I, I swear yeah, I the, swear the deep sleep that, that's the way that scene was delivered definitely lended a little bit of a mm, yeah. a little more weight to Klaus's paranoia and mm -hmm. it was obviously you know done that way intentionally but at that point it made me as the viewer question ah oh, shit is Klaus just being paranoid or is he right Right. I had, I was I didn't know and I still don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, well played. that whole that whole discussion that she had with Klaus, and she like told the whole story. You know, it was different from the story she told everybody at the the table. She she told how she was pregnant, how she said she wasn't gonna love. She had a child. You know all mm -hmm. this stuff. Do you think her child's still alive? No. As if the flashback is to be believed, no. Because Dolly even said, you know, yeah. the spell didn't protect everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. It, it's I don't see the baby alive because, you know, Dolly wouldn't be, like, flipping shit the way she is. We also thought this whole time that Freya's been dead, though. I didn't think that. From the very start of the show? That... Freya's been dead? When, or, yeah, when season one of the original started, we all thought Freya was dead. That's because they did say that Freya was dead, but they didn't, get in, they didn't get into the Dahlia story. So as soon as that came in, I was like, Freya's not dead. Right, right. But she's, now, she's with Dahlia. But now she's just assuming. They didn't specifically say the baby's dead. They, just, they, they worded it weird. 
they worded it weird. And yes, I guess, you know, Dahlia could have saved the baby or figured out a way magically to save the baby. But I figured something to hold over her head later. Maybe. It's kind of like the Klaus Maybe. Hope thing, you know, it, it's a big bargaining tool. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, I don't, I don't think Dahlia would be going to as great lengths as she has been if that were the case, if the baby was still alive. But that's one baby. She wants an army. I know she, she wants, wants an army. An army. So if, but she wants she... an army spawned from the, the Michelson bloodline, right? So mm -hmm. she wanted Freya's child. If Freya is immortal, whatever. So if that baby survived, if Freya is not willing to cooperate, she may be able to raise that child herself and get that yes. child to cooperate. I was going to say, I mean, you know, she could take the baby and raise it for herself. And then she could just say, okay, you are my baby making spawn thing and you make my army for me. But that hasn't happened. Right. I mean, the only reason why Freya rejected is because she got taken when she was old enough to comprehend that this lady is just my aunt and she's not my mother and she's torturing me. Mm hmm. She didn't. She knew that this wasn't right. A baby raised by Dahlia would think, "Oh, this is just life." Yeah. Yeah. Freya's. She didn't get Freya at a young enough age, basically, mm -hmm. for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, because Freya still had very clear memories of her family. She remembers all of that. She remembers her conversations yep. with Michael. She remembers things that her brothers did for her. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if if you took the baby at such a um an early stage. It's, mm -hmm. The baby doesn't know. It's the not baby, know. I mean, you raise it that way. You ra Dahlia raises that baby from infancy. That that child doesn't know any different, other than what Dahlia has told her, him, yep. whatever. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. at the right age, go make babies. Go on, shoo yeah. shoo. But I mean, Klaus wasn't buying the story at all. No. He, he thinks it's just a big manipulation story because he's the master manipulator and nobody can out-manipulate Klaus. And if Klaus <laughs> feels it's a manipulation because it's something he would it's do, gotta be. then it's got to mm. be that. So yeah. what do you guys think? Is is this master manipulation or is this the truth? I think it's a combination of mm. yes and no. I mean, she wants them to be on her side, so she is using the sympathy card. But then again, Freya's, she's, she's yeah. being partly truthful at the same time. Freya's not giving the whole story. Yeah, there's, there's things missing. And you'll see this in many shows, writings, and all that other shit that, you know, the best lies have a grain of the truth in them. Mm -hmm. So there's something she's hiding. You know, we haven't gotten the whole picture. So I guess, you know, in the end, yeah, Klaus is right to be suspicious. Yep. But I mean, he's yeah. suspicious of everything. He's so. suspicious of his. He's suspicious of himself. <laughs> you kidding me? He is. Oh my goodness. He, he, he probably wakes up in the morning thinking, "Hmm, I wonder if I'm going to betray myself today." I mean, all he does is betray himself. He's his biggest enemy. I mean, he he's, is his biggest enemy. He's already setting up allegiances with the wolves. It's basically going to cut off everybody. Like if things go south or whatever, it's going to tear everything that he built up apart. That's because he has a contingency plan ra wrapped up in a backup plan, wrapped up in a no-shit plan. I mean, he's just, he's extremely tunnel-visioned at this point. Yeah. Right, he's he he's tunnel-visioned, and he's still, I guess at the end of the day, looking out for, you know, his survival. I mean, yeah. his family survival, his child survival, but at the end of the day, it's, I'm still thinking it's Klaus, numero uno. I don't know. I'd say Hope is more on the priority list than, than himself at this point. I don't know. It's possible. He's not so worried about himself. He's immortal. Uh, uh, yeah. He's, for the most part, immortal, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean... there There's still the weapon that Cole made. Yeah. Don't forget about yeah. that. It's still lurking around. They haven't yeah. mentioned it intentionally. They made sure to set that up just before he died, and it, he knew he was going to die, and he still makes his weapon. So it's just the completion of this weapon, and now it's just left up. And the the really scary part is, Davina was there, helped him make the weapon. She knows about it, but now she, Davina's been kidnapped. Yeah, let's just cover the fact that Davina is being channeled by Eva. Right. Yeah. 
But that's only because Eva is consciously there. She's mm-hmm. listening, and they were talking about, oh, Davina would love to do this, and she has this much power. Eva was like, oh, hell yeah. And in the back of Rebecca, you know, Re- Re- Rebecca's conscious. She's the one that's talking to these people, but Eva's back there. She's listening. Yeah. She knows. She wanted a power boost. She got Oh, yeah. One. She got a power boost. And, okay, let's get back to the Eva-Rebecca thing. Eva-Becca? Yeah, whatever. Rebecca likes to just trot off by herself and be like, oh, oh, I'm s-. and like, you know what? I'm like, I'm sitting there. They know that Eva is taking control. Rebecca knows that Eva is taking control. And yet they let her go off by herself. She walks off by herself because she's enough. Fucking use your brains, you goddamn idiot. It's not only that, but she wakes up from the nightmare toward the beginning of the episode. And she has this thing and Marcel's like, stay away from the windows. You know, whatever. Uh, let me handle this. Stay inside. And he God. goes out. And, uh... Did she listen? She no. just strolled out the front door. I... I, <sighs> I was like, are you kidding she, me? The amount of dumb in this episode, just like... When but it that came is to very Rebecca. Rebecca. That it is, is very Rebecca. Rebecca. But, but you know what? She It's her. She's not immortal anymore. She's not a fucking original. Correct. And you know what? It's not just her that they have... That they're all trying to protect and fix. There is the whole Freya Dahlia thing. They're still like concerned about other witches coming in and ripping and tearing. There's the werewolves and their whole like not stable environment because they just got this power boost and they don't know how to handle it. There are so many things going on and Rebecca's being a selfish bitch. She certainly is. And I, I'm, I want to punch her. She's a witch now. I can hurt her. I was gonna. I was thinking when you said, "Yeah, Rebecca's not immortal," and I was just thinking, hmm, "Yeah, you could kill her with a butter knife." You really could. Or spoon, even. Yeah, I mean that makes uh, Josephine. I always have to stop and, and really focus on her name. <laughs> Josephine. Josephine. It's just because all I think about is her character on Pretty Little Liars. Oh, God, um, yeah. Not Josephine. <laughs> Pretty Little Liars slash Ravenswood. She was super creepy. She's she's less creepy in this this uh, show, but she was super yeah. creepy, Mrs. Grunwald. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say Josephine's last name is Grunwald. This is Josephine Grunwald. Grunwald. It's Come on, the same with character. the name Grunwald, you expect her to be not creepy? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. So they they gave an ultimatum. To uh, to get Rebecca like all strained out, or uh, in twenty four hours, things were gonna go down. So, well, things I mean, are gonna I go down. I don't see why they can't do that. Like Freya can't instead of putting Rebecca to sleep, just rip out Ava's soul and put her in a little gem or something. I mean, come on, you've done it before. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. and then we had the very, very end of the episode where um, we see uh, Hope, and we hear some eerie humming. Mm-hmm. It's like a very chillingly haunting song, and then uh, we saw one of Hope's toys just kind of turn on its own. This this humming, it, it's very, very uh, reminiscent to some of the flashbacks. You know, we, of- we hear we hear the you know Dahlia sing, uh, humming mm-hmm. this. It's it's just oh my god, what's going on? Yeah, so it's... That's nice. Yeah, I have a feeling that, you know, Eva's going to, you know, take control a little bit more. Because, you know, she's heard about Hope. Hope is even stronger than Davina. And she's just an infant. Yeah. Eva's going to try to get her greedy little hands on Hope. And Dahlia's going to come out and be like, bitch, what are you doing? That's my baby. Mm-hmm. Bitch, that's and then, my baby. Bomb goes off, and then Klaus is running around like a ninny, and Elijah's going, hum, 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 I'm in a suit. And hum, 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 I'm in a suit, and then there's just an infant floating there in a little bubble through the air, just like, do, 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 wait, something happened, uh, no. no. I'm sorry, not even something happened, just like, <laughs> oh, God, don't even. Like, pretty explosions. So, uh, you guys have anything else for this episode? No, I think we've thoroughly talked about a lot. Yeah. Um, a good episode. It was a good episode. Yeah, uh, the show is gone for two weeks. 
two weeks. Two weeks. Not like the Vampire Diaries, which has gone for four weeks. Yes, just two. Just two. 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 Dos. Um, Dos. The next episode, I did this again. I lost the title. Where is it, it happens. It does it's happen. Hap no, you know what? It's been happening with a lot of shows lately. Like They're just not to giving us episode names. It's no, it's just wherever we find the synopsis are just not having the titles in there. Yeah, the, the episode is called Exquisite Corpse. There we go. Uh, it returns on April 6th. The Maybe. April 6th. Exquisite Corpse, April 6th, yeah. Um, and... Uh, the the theme is controlling the demon. When Eva Sinclair's reemergence leaves Rebecca trapped and helpless, Klaus is forced to put aside his mistrust for Freya in order to save Rebecca's life. Meanwhile, Haley, Elijah, Haley and Elijah learn more about Eva's violent past from Josephine, who then makes a startling revelation about Haley's future. With time running out to save Rebecca, Marcel turns to a reluctant Vincent for help to take down Eva, but his plan takes an unexpected turn as Eva will not go down without a fight. Hate these synopsis. And then Davina Mike's favorite also part. appears. Yeah. Davina also appears. Yeah. I like that part of the, the synopsis. Between that... Hey, Dom. I hate to cross podcast here, but Coulson died. Mickey, where can the people find you? They can find me on Twitter with very disapproving tweets towards the bearded man down below at LadyVenom24, L-A-D-Y-V-E-N-O-V-E-N-O-M-24. She can't even spell. She's so pissed. Uh, you can find me down below at Phenomenon, P-H-E-N-O-M-E-D-O-M. -E and uh, we'll see you guys later. No, you can find. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mike, where can the people find you? <laughs> Twitter, Twitch, places at the Ladoon, right there. Oh, I wish I would have was quicker on the draw. I would have been out of frame. <laughs> you, you tried to slink away. No, work. you know what? I should have just held something up to the frame to make it completely black. Mm -hmm. You can also find us on Facebook, Gmail, G, Twitter, Space. <laughs> And right here on YouTube, slash ASO TV Podcast, for some more podcasts from some of your favorite TV shows. Till next... April 6th? Until next April 6th. Until we will see time. you guys later. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Farewell. Spoilers, Mike dies at the end. Aww. <laughs> <laughs>